at least 62% of US adults now get their news from social media. A recent study at Stanford University showed that 82% of middle school students couldn't tell sponsored content from news. In an era when the spread of misinformation and fake news is posing serious questions about the role of the media in society, is the Irish education system doing enough to teach digital media literacy? I think there needs to be a massive uptick in the education behind media literacy and it needs to start young. Because they get so much of their news from social media and news stories are presented with a common a common layout now inside of the Facebook app that a lot of people don't know where their sources are coming from. They just see Facebook and they see news and that's it. Yeah, like I never really thought of where my news came from and whether it was real or not. Instagram, Twitter, sometimes I watch the news if it's on. Facebook, Instagram. Social media, Facebook. Snapchat, stuff like that. Instagram, or oh, I watch the news occasionally. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Sometimes I'll see like something on the TV if I pass because I don't actually watch the news. So I think media literacy needs to kind of be drummed in from people almost from the same age as civic and social studies are. Where CSP, which also needs reform obviously, is kind of drawn in that there needs to be a massive uptick in digital media and an awareness in differentiating for young people the difference between sponsored news stories, you know, brand content, uh, and... I suppose not hard, but actual lifestyle journalism, but also as well, like the difference between political opinion and the serving up of the facts. Um, news that is fake. False accusations, like people could make up a statement that isn't real and put it up for their own well-being, make money off it. Um, news that people make up, like, not true. <laughs> news that's not real or made up. Uh, I think fake news is basically news that's not true or false. And news made up by people for money. That, like, people make up for money and stuff. <laughs> research done on the whole authenticity of it it's just information 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 they're probably very good at the mechanics of it and they're very adept at um, navigating whether it's on their phones or tablets or pcs but as regards the actual genuine proper research and going back and finding out how things have occurred i don't think that they have that knowledge and i think they need to be given that really because it's so important really I just send it on. I show them if they're funny or entertaining. Uh, I don't check. No. <laughs> no, I just share them anyway. No, I've never really thought of that. Not really. Just share because of funny. Mostly just share like funny videos or something like that. Not real news. If you take the oral part of even the, the French and German this year, you know, they're still giving us that on CD that has to be played on a CD player. So are we behind technology? You know, we are. Upset. Yeah, we are. Definitely. Catching up, but it's catching up at a slower pace than technology is advancing. So, you know, there is a gap between the two. And we, yeah, we are behind. Most definitely. Um, there would be elements of SPHE which is first year to junior cert, where they would deal with a little bit around social media, whether it gets into the in-depth stuff like you're talking about, it wouldn't, it's, it's a chapter in a book, it's a module, but it's only one single class a week, which is 40 minutes for probably only four to five weeks on that topic alone. So that would be dealing with all of social media and everything else. 
um, transition year, there is a chance to go into specific areas, but that's not a set curriculum. That really would have to come from a teacher that's very interested in that area would say, look, I want to just try this thing for a few weeks. Um, but that interest would have to come from the staff, really. There's no, there's no prescribed curriculum for any of that, unfortunately, yet, as yet. So there currently isn't any formalised curriculum teaching critical thinking in digital media at second level. But the media we consume are a powerful force that help shape our worldview and opinions. And this is the next generation, not only of media consumers, but media producers. How would this class of transitioners respond to a workshop teaching the basics of online verification? Yeah, I didn't know how to like reverse Google image stuff before I learned how to do that. And I think I'll think more about where news comes from since there's so many fake news websites around. Yeah, it made me think about like how how different sources might affect people and uh, how fake news can give you a lot of money. I learned that like you can actually check out if photos is photoshopped or not, and that's really new to me. Uh, yeah, it made me think. I didn't know that you could get money for putting up fake news. I learned that you can search up if a picture is photoshopped or not, but so I'd be more aware of the news. That like I won't be quick to share anything. What about post-leaving cert? How about those who go on to study media? I usually find with first years that you're very, you're very much starting with the basics. There are some students who come in who have maybe done one or two years somewhere else, um, but on the whole, um, they're coming straight from school. So we, we're really starting from scratch with them, you know, telling them, you know, explaining like where news comes from, how you go and get news, and then when they're actually doing their writing of the news, trying to work with them to actually create a, um, a, a piece that is, has that sort of neutral, somewhat authoritative tone, I guess, that, that journalism needs to have. With so much time being spent on basics that could have been covered at second level, and the pressure to produce multi-platform journalists, how much space is devoted to verification and good working practice? Like we looked at verification and we looked at the pratfalls with being given uh, anonymous video material, for example. And we were also given an introduction to sourcing local fixers that would be able to verify locations. We were given the introduction to it. And I think a lot of it was down to then our own reading or our own taking of our own interest. But I think it's like any of these things you won't be able to get a proper grip on the ins and outs of verification or the ins and outs of the ethical implications of both anonymous sources and press releases until you're chucked into the newsroom yourself and you're given you know, somebody barking at you to have copy on time, etc. Learning on the job has always been an important part of a journalist's work, but so is having a solid grasp of ethics. The Dublin Enquirer is a new website and print publication with a staff of three and many freelance collaborators. Yeah, I would say um, it seems like they don't get much sort of education of the debates around ethics and, and, and ways to do things um, and relationships with readers uh, very much at all. I, I mean, when, when we work with new people, we tend to send out like a list of maybe five or six basic rules and say, look, you probably know this, but but like this is kind of what you should be thinking about, and and I think it's good if if we set the the guidelines for them because then they can just say, oh, my editor says I can't do this. I I don't understand why it doesn't happen at universities because if they are getting practical journalism experience, which I would expect they would do as part of the course, have to produce a lot of articles. It should be built into how they go about reporting each piece, how you approach sources and how you judge whether, um, you know, how you make sure that you're engaging respectfully and, and uh, whether they're vulnerable or whether they're not vulnerable or, or whether you should name them or, or not name Like, I feel like I don't understand how you teach journalism without teaching that. Could it be that the answer comes in teaching these skills far earlier?
We live in a confusing world, one where we're faced with constant streams of contradicting information. If our young people can't differentiate between these sources of information, they may find themselves cast adrift, and our education system will be partly to blame. <laughs>